Hi everyone, Polina from Polina Bright Brushes has sent me these beautiful Polina Bright Brushes to try out. So today I'm going to do an unboxing and a review of her brushes. So let's go. Alright, so here you go. So they've come nicely packed. Um, I have two more brushes if I'm not wrong and then there are a few round brushes and a liner brush uh, rigor brush sorry so let's see they have a beautiful card by Polina's artwork and it has a nice soft touch to this card I'm really loving this artwork I'm a really big fan of Polina's artwork so I'm so happy to receive this card thank you Polina so now let's see what we have in the brushes. We have a rigor brush here, synthetic squirrel. These brushes are vegan and cruelty free. And there is a mop brush here, uh, three mop brushes. And then we have a uh, few round brushes here. They are also vegan and cruelty free. So let's open each one of them. So here we have three mop brushes, size one, three, and let's see, they're all individually packed in their own carton box. That's very nice. Uh, one, two, and three. So we have three beautiful mop brushes. Um, yeah, that's what it says. Then let's see the rigor brush. The rigor brush is a separate, uh, separately packed. It says, for use with watercolor gouache ink, cruelty free and vegan, responsibly sourced wood used to make handles, extra soft springy synthetic fiber, extra fine point for long thin strokes, laser engraved handle for super grip. Okay, let's see, I, I already, so I'm a big fan of uh, rigor and liner brushes because I like adding details and uh, uh, this gives you nice details it's very nicely packed so I'm not really able to open it so I'm going to cut it oh there is an opening here right there so I'm going to open it from here and take out the brush all right and here is some Purina bright artwork on this brush packaging as well which is so pretty I'm going to use it probably as a bookmark or something let's see then yeah this is the rigor brush which is nice long uh, with a very pointed tip so uh, let's unbox the rest of the brushes and then we can try it out So uh, these round brushes are a bit different from the ones that I'm used to using. I uh, don't use the ones which look like this, but I'm excited to try them out. So let's go and try them out now. All right, let's start with the round brush, which is size zero round. So like I said, it's a bit different from the usual round brushes that I'm uh, used to using. I'm just uh, dipping it in water to remove all the glue which comes with the new brushes and uh, a size zero round brush would usually be much smaller but this one is uh, slightly different so let's see how this one works i'm just going to make some simple swatches so let's see it's uh, nice it's beautiful i like the way it is uh, i like the stiffness of this brush actually uh, i generally don't prefer extremely soft brushes because they are very difficult to control sometimes so i'm liking that let's see how the lines are for this brush how thin or thick they are so if i want to make a thin line this is how it is 
let's see how thick it goes and then thin again yeah so i like the stiffness of this brush it's quite easy to use it's holding good amount of water i don't have to dip it in water again and again and it's very easy to control but the tip is not as fine as i would have liked usually this is more on the thicker side of the tip for size zero round brush but the quality is really good so i really love using it i'm enjoying this brush now let's try the mop brush so usually the mop brush is used to put the first wash so this brush that i'm trying out is size 2 mop brush these brushes are all made in germany by hand so that's another thing cruelty free and vegan so let's see i'm going to use another shade maybe green this time for a mop so the mop brush is slightly softer than the round brush that's what i am feeling already and it's holding a lot more water as you can see so it's not as concentrated as uh, the red color that i used because it was not holding as much water this mop brush is holding a lot of water so we can even try it out with the red shade to see how what is the effect of red with this brush i'm almost using the same amount of water just dipping it in the jar once so with the mop brush let's see how it looks let's see if the mop is usually not used to make uh, fine lines but let's see how fine the lines go uh, actually this one is holding the tip quite fine uh, pretty fine it's more finer than the round brush actually so that's great so you can actually if you're into using softer brushes you can even use this as a round brush i would say i'm not trying all the brushes i just want to see how the round and the mop brush and the rigger works so just one of each kind so now let's see the rigger brush rigger brush is something that i'm really excited to use because i love making smaller details so i want to see how this works oh wow i love it it's holding a lot of water and color and uh, the tip is quite fine too so if i want to make finer lines for my petals and leaves this will work very well with that i am pretty sure this is going to be one of my favorite brushes to use for detailing because the details which i am getting with this fine tip is amazing really beautiful one of the things that i noticed was how much stiffer the polina pride round brush is as compared to the mop brush so as you can see there is a snap to this brushes for the round one and for the uh, for the mop brush there is not as much stiffness or spring to it it is uh, softer much softer and that's why it can hold a lot of water so frankly even though these are synthetic brushes i can see they have a lot of water holding capacity and um, there was also the rigor brush which is also very good with holding water um, and i'm really loving them so i'm pretty sure that the rigor brush is going to become one of my favorites in my toolkit and i'm really excited to show you what i create with this